Hi everyone, thought I'd make a video on uh, these three phase motors on wiring them up to your normal single phase 240 volt from your 400 volt three phase. Um, a lot of people told me that I couldn't do it, it's not possible. And um, after a bit of playing around and working a few things out, it's, it is doable with a few capacitors. So, so here we have our three-phase motor. At the moment, I've currently wired it up for our normal 240 volt, our power point. I should have probably left it and took, you know, some video footage of it, as in the three-phase when the cap first come off. But as you can see over here, that's how it was wired. I've now wired it to this for 240 volt. Um, I'll throw it on the side so you can see the gearbox side of it. And I'll turn the power on, as in just wide by itself, 240 volt, without the capacitor. Second. Okay, you can hear the motor trying to go, but nothing's happening. It hasn't got enough power. So, this motor is a 0 0.25 kilowatts. So I've worked out, I've done a couple of different motors. This is what I've done. So at the moment we we're doing this one, 0 0.25 kilowatts. It's 50 or 60 hertz. So I'm going to use a 12 UF 400 volt 50 60 hertz capacitor, which is this one right here. Get these from most electronical shops. So, so what I'll do, I'll go ahead and plug this up. And just by plugging that on, we'll turn the power back on. And away we go. Alright, so it is doable. We can do it just by the capacitors that we use. But you can't use too big of a capacitor. I've worked out basically for 0 0.10 kilowatt you need about 7 7 UF. So I could only buy a 6 but because I'm using a 0 0.25 today for the motor I basically doubled that and just bought a 12. It is a bit less but that's fine doesn't overheat the motor. If I run a bigger size on this, the motor will heat up and you can burn your motor out. So, yeah, that's basically how you do it. Um, if if you're gearing something and it's a bit bigger and on load on first startup, when you first turn the power point on, it won't go, is what you can do, is wire in another capacitor the same, of the same size, or one a fraction smaller, just with a switch, an on-off switch on it. So is what you do, you, ha you have both turned on. Once you've switched it on at the power point for initial startup, straight away, turn it off. So you turn your one capacitor off because you can overheat your motor with the two of them on. That's only if you're having trouble with initial startup. But basically you don't need much. A couple of bits of wires, Some heat shrink, some pliers, cutters. You can get all different types of capacitors for different size motors. So this one here is a 20, which I use for the 0 0.37 kilowatt motor that I have. And that ran fine. When I first done a few tests, I had only this old capacitor I had off a different motor. I was unsure of the size of it, but I gave it a run. And every motor that I put on it, I put it on the 0 0.25 and the 0 0.37. And after about five minutes of run time, the motor was heating up. You could feel the heat coming through the side of the motor. So I worked out that you can't just sort of put any capacitor on and it won't work with just any capacitor. So anyway... I hope this helps. 
So you can wire up a three phase to 240 volt. You just have to work out what size capacity you need for what kilowatt and hertz motor you have. Hope this has helped you all. Like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.